The Permian Panther football team officially wrapped up its season with the annual banquet at the MCM Fun Dome last night. A handful of athletes took home awards, but the spotlight rightfully focused on the former head coach, Gary Gaines. The biggest surprise of the night came once the ceremony was wrapped up. A man forward in mojo casually strolled his way over to Gaines with a red suitcase. Claire Muir, a photography major at a small college in the state of Utah, traveled down to the basin to present Gaines with a statue created just for the legendary head coach. The two first met through email when Muir asked Gaines if he could take pictures of him on the sideline for a project. And as Gary Gaines always does, he made Muir feel special. So special that Claire Muir considers him not just a role model, but his hero. I met Coach Gaines almost two years ago, and just his character and class impressed me. And he's just had a big impact and influence on my life. I had an idea, talked to a buddy at school who's a sculpture major. Coach Gaines is the type of person that's a hero to, to me. And I thought, what better way to honor a hero than give him something that he'd always have to remember, you know, his coaching days. New England Patriots star QB Tom Brady squared off just a while ago against Baltimore Ravens legendary linebacker Ray Lewis for the final time. The AFC Championship game. No time for sentimental moments. Both teams looking to advance to the Super Bowl. In the fourth quarter, it wasn't Tom Brady in the Pats. It was Joe Flacco, the surgeon, connected with Anquan Bolden, not once, but twice to take the lead. Baltimore trailed in total yardage, but was four for four in the red zone and tacked on three takeaways. The Ravens shocked the world, or at least most of us, 28 to 13, the final. Only allowed 13 points to the Patriots. Down the coast in Georgia. Atlanta hosting San Francisco and the Falcons. Well, they started off sizzling. Matt Ryan throws the fade up to Julio Jones. Fast forward to seconds before the half. Matty Ice finds Tony Gonzalez. Maybe his final touchdown catch as he's on the verge of retirement. But the Niners stayed balanced. Colin Kaepernick, a very clean game today. You look at the total yards. ATL with 477. San Fran 373. But the difference maker was that dude dancing. Frank Gore, 21 carries, 90 yards, two scores. San Francisco comes back from a 17-0 deficit to win 28-24. So now we're set for Super Bowl 47 or the Harbaugh, as it's being called. Two weeks from today, right here on CBS 7. The Harbaugh. Jim versus John. Super Bowl 47. Marshall, <laughs> thanks. We'll be right back.